Hey everyone, it's Audrey here. Sorry that whole dual Facebook live feed thing didn't work. Um, and actually I moved upstairs to my son's room, so if you hear him playing on the Xbox, sorry. Um, it's better than my three-year-old downstairs hogging up camera time if you saw my live feed earlier on my personal page. So, anyway, welcome to our virtual wine and wash. Um, we have already heard a little bit about the hair care products, and now I'm going to talk to you about wine. <laughs> Obviously, I need some of those hair care products because nine times out of ten, my hair is up in a bun like this because it's greasy and oily, and I just don't feel like messing with it. So we're going to have to get together later and talk about those hair care products for me. So anyway, let's talk about the wine. This is... Um, Actually, I'll tell you a little bit about me first in case um, some of you folks, I don't actually have you as friends first. So my name is Audrey. I live in North Carolina. I moved here about four years ago to help take care of in-laws. And I'm originally from Texas, born and raised, born in Houston and raised in San Antonio. Um, I graduated from a small town high school just west of San Antonio. Um, met and married my husband, met him in 2011, married in 12, moved up here to North Carolina in 2013. We had a daughter together in 2014. She's a crazy one that hogs up all the camera time. So anyway, um, how I found this company, this is crazy. So I love to cook and I have an instant pot. I wish they had an instant pot group like network marketing group or whatever. I could sell the heck out of those things. So it's a digital pressure cooker. And I was on some kind of page, I posted a picture of my wine and my Instant Pot meal that I made, and somebody made some sort of comment about how, um, something about how they can make money off of their passion of loving wine, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute, what? So anyway, I, I googled research, I found um, somebody from this company that I'm with, it's called Direct Sellers, and so I found that company, and it didn't take me half a day to say sign me up because I seriously love wine. Anybody that knows me loves wine, uh, knows me, knows that I love wine. As a matter of fact, my daughter for Mother's Day, she's two, in church for Mother's Day, she had to fill out this little thing on all the things mommy likes and she said wine too. So she, <laughs> she knows how much I love my wine. So when the opportunity came up to make money off of something that I already love and I'm already going to buy, like I probably buy more wine than... I don't know, anything else. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's how I found the company. Like I said, it didn't take me the next day to decide to start up with the company. So I did that. Now a little bit about the company. So this is a startup company. It's probably been shipping wine less than 18 months. We have 28,000 customers already. And just as a piece of information, the largest wine distributor in the United States started in the 60s and they have 200,000. So if you just think about the numbers real quick. So they started in the 60s and have 200,000 customers. We started less than 18 months ago and have 28,000. So, um, and, and if you think about it, it's kind of like, you know, the product is, is wine. You don't have to convince someone to drink wine. You don't have to check in with them at the end of the month to see if they need, need new product or if they finish their product. Um, especially if I'm your customer, um, it's gone. <laughs> I need more. <laughs> so anyhow, um, so the company's name is Direct Sellers. What they do is they contract with local artisan wineries. These are small town boutique wineries all across the world. And they they order their wine. They, they say, this is what you have. This is what we want. We want to ship your wines to our customers. So you're going to get wines shipped to your door from across the world, hand selected by professionals. So this means there's a few, there's a group of, of gentlemen, there's especially one, he's called the Wine Whisperer, Jerry Greenfield, and he hand selects these wines and says, okay, this one is great to send to our customers. So let's just say they order, I don't know, 500 cases, a 1,000 cases, I don't know how much they order. Um, when you get your box delivered to your door, you can choose all reds, all whites, or a mix of the two. You can choose um, four bottles or two bottles. So when you get your wines, the idea is to taste new things. Um, so the first month I got a, a Tempranillo, no, 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 a Malbec from Argentina. I got a red blend and a white blend from South Africa. And I got a Chardonnay from Washington State. The Malbec was phenomenal. Um, the blends were great, too. I'm not one for white wine. I usually like red wines more, but they were all, they were all really, really great. 
Um, my second box, I got a Merlot and a Cabernet. One was from Washington State and one was from California. So here's the thing. When you go to your local grocery store, um, you may not know what to pick. You're probably going to pick the same old thing that you're used to because you're afraid to try new things, especially when you're trying premium wines. And when I say premium wines, these are in the 40 to $50 range. The Malbec was a $40 bottle of wine, and I'll tell you how I got it for free here in a second. But um, So these are premium wines. They, they want you to try these wines from all over the world. Once you get your box, if you like something that, if you taste something that you like, you can order a whole case of it. You can order just two bottles of it. You can order, you can order more of it. That's if they still have it in stock, if they haven't shipped it out to all of their customers yet. So um, a lot of brides will actually join this club and then, you know, just save the bottles mm -hmm. of wine throughout the whole year that they're, you know, if, if they're courting, do they even call that anymore? Courting? Anyway, well, they're engaged. I guess that's a different level engaged as to courting anyway. Um, so anyhow, um, free wine. Once you have three customers underneath you, you can get it free. Now the other price is, okay, so it's $50 for two bottles, $80 for four bottles, or free once you have three customers. Now, that's not three customers a month. That's three customers, period. Once you have three paying customers underneath you, your wine is free. So that's a good selling point for your customer if you decide to be a rep like I am. It's a good selling point for your customers because everybody likes free wine, especially when it's $40 bottles of wine and you get it for free. All they have to do is have three other wine-loving friends um, that sign up for the program as well. It is... 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you get something that you don't like, if it's damaged, if whatever, you call a company and they um, they replace it for you. Actually, what you would probably do if I'm your rep, you would call me and I will have it replaced for you. They do charge a shipping charge, but as your rep, I would be the one that would cover that shipping price for you. So it's 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Um, they do send you, I don't know if you can see this, but they do send you tasting notes. So these tasting notes tell you a little bit about the winemaker, a little bit about the region, what it pairs well with, all kinds of different information. So that's really handy for you um, wine lovers. As far as, um, I, I do know that we have a 94% retention rate, so most everybody loves the wine. And that, that's kind of the thing. It's not like... Um, it's not like any other product where with wine, there's a lot of people who like to try different things. And like I said, that is the whole option to, that, that's the whole idea is to try different things. Um, and because it's a hundred percent satisfaction guaranteed, that retention rate is, I mean, it, it's awesome because nobody's leaving. If they don't like something, it's being replaced month after month. It's being replaced. Now I would say, um, there are some wine lovers who only like the sweet stuff. The whole idea is like if you like only Moscato or, you know, another sweet kind of wine like that, um, you're going to, like what I got as far as whites, I got a Chardonnay from Washington State and the, the um, white blend from South Africa. The, they were both fantastic. They weren't too heavy. They weren't oaky. They were not They were actually really great wines. And so just try it. Don't just look at a bottle and say, no, I'm probably not going to like that. I mean, just try it because the company will send you another bottle if you don't like it. Um I was actually telling a girl today that there's never been a time that I've thrown away or turned down wine. So I don't like Chardonnays a whole lot because they're real oaky, real heavy. And so when I got that Chardonnay, I also got, you know, those little frozen bottles um, you can get in the freezer section to make like apple juices and stuff for the kids. I mixed my Chardonnay with one of the frozen juice things. It was called Peach Bellini. So it wasn't for kids. It didn't have alcohol in it, but it wasn't for kids. It's meant to make a mixer. So I mixed that with some ice and the whole bottle of Chardonnay. And yes, we finished it all. And some frozen pineapples. Pineapples. And it was the best drink ever. So, oh, Kayla's drinking a Chardonnay right now. That's awesome. See, I don't really like Chardonnays because, like I said, they're real heavy. They're real oaky, and that oak, like, just tingles my tongue. I just, I, I love oakiness if it's in red wines, but white wines, not so much. But, like I said, I will never toss out a wine, so I will find something to do with it. If it means mixing it, turning it into a mixer, a sangria. I made my father-in-law a really good... Um, white sangria over the 4th of July holiday. We put blueberries and strawberries and all kinds of good stuff. And actually he tasted it and he said it was heavenly. So 
<laughs> hey, Kayla says she's a white girl. Well, I love reds. It's so funny. We went to a um, open house, housewarming type party with some friends the other day. And um, she told me, she's like, oh, we got you some red wines. I hope she's not watching this. <laughs> she says, oh, we got you some red wines. And I'm like, oh, okay, what kind of red wines did you get? Well, they were like pink wines. Like the, it was a pink Moscato or white Zinfandel. It was pink. It wasn't really red. And so I was like, you know, she could tell I was kind of bummed. And I said, well, she says, what kind do you like? And I'm like, well, pretty much hold it up to the light. And if you can't see through it, <laughs> if it's that red, I will probably like it. So, um, yeah, I like anything red. I will try some whites every now and then. I'm not afraid. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to turn down wine. So anyway, um, as far as the business opportunity, I talked to a few of you about this. So the business opportunity, um, there's two levels you can join. There's one for $249, and that gets you one year of business fees and eight bottles of wine to start with. And then if you like anything or if you decide to do tasting parties or anything like that, what we call DC socials, if you decide to do anything like that, you get a 20% case discount. I don't know about you, but I like wine, like, a lot, a lot, lot. <laughs> so um, I joined at the next level up, which is the $500 level. It gets you three years of business fees, a case of wine to start out with, and 40% case discounts. I don't know if you guys shop for wine as often as I do, but there's not hardly any place you can go to that offers you a 40% case discount. Even when you go to the wine stores, my husband goes to one of the wine depots here in Virginia. Well, I live in North Carolina, but he works in Virginia a lot. Um, and the most he ever gets is a 20% discount if he buys the case. So this is a 40% case discount if you like anything. Now, let's just say you've run out of wine and you didn't really, you know, there wasn't anything you loved, there wasn't anything you hated, but you just want to try 12 new bottles. You call the company and say, I just want another case, surprise me. So they'll send you another case, you get it at a 40% discount. I think it comes out to 150 bucks or something, so it's like 12.50 a bottle for, don't, I don't know that per, for a fact. It's around 12 something a bottle. Um, so you get that for twelve fifty a bottle when it was a $40, like the Malbec from Argentina, it was a $40 bottle of wine. So um, another thing about the business opportunity, we are going to New York City, me and Kimberly, or Kimberly and I, she's one of my business partners. We Our annual convention is in New York City, so this is like three days of learning about wines, tasting wines, hanging out with over, I don't even, I think they're only selling 2,000 tickets, so hanging out with, and I think they still have some tickets set for sale still, but anyway, hanging out with over um, 2,000 wine lovers in New York City, is that the best thing ever? So we're really excited for that. Um, as far as money you can make in this company, one of my, I guess what we call uplines, one of the ladies who sponsored, one of the ladies who sponsored me, you know, up the line, um, she has been in this seven months. She's done network marketing before, and um, I think she was with Beachbody, maybe? I'm not sure. I think it was Beachbody. But um, I think she did four years or so with Beachbody and didn't really make any money. Anyway, she joined the wine business seven months ago and just hit $100,000. She has three little baby boys and gets to stay home with them and made $100,000. So I tell everybody I want to be like her when I grow up. So that is my that my goal. I work from home anyway. I have three kids. Um, I have my master's degree, but I don't really want to use it. I mean, I use it, but I use it for my own company and my own team. I don't, um, I don't want to go out there and get a 9-to-5 job. I want to stay home and... Not that I'm going to drink wine all day long during the day, but I want to be home and enjoy wine and sell wine. I don't want that busy corporate life. I just I just don't. Maybe when my kids are grown and out of the house, maybe it's possible I'll go out there and get that job. But hell, by then, I might be making a couple hundred thousand dollars, so I won't need to. So um, that's about all to say about the company I think it's awesome the girls are all you know you see these other companies network marketing companies where the girls are um, sale 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 all over their Facebook prof profile is just like you know contact me we have a sale blah 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 I don't want to be that person I just want you to try wines that's it I don't I don't want to be salesy I don't want to be pushy I want you to try wines and you know even here's the cool thing about this company um, there's it's a two legs you can get paid four different ways but it's two legs and so when I sign somebody up underneath me 
and then I have somebody else. The neck, the third person that I sign up goes underneath one of them. So either one of them can be a customer. The day they decide to turn into a rep instead of a customer, they immediately start getting paid for the people underneath them. <laughs> Kayla says, don't sell, share what you love. Well, that's one of the things when we started doing this 30-day live challenge is I want, I want people to know me. You know, I was telling um, my friend Kimberly this today. I said, you know, when you go into a furniture store and you're looking for a new sofa set or whatever, you go to a furniture store where the people are all jerks, you're not going to go back. You're going to go to the place where the people were helpful and kind and whatever, where you or, or you knew the people. And that's the, the even though I don't have a brick-and-mortar storefront, that's the storefront that I want to portray is this is me, this is who I am, this is what my life is about, this is, you know, how I accomplish my goals, you know, whatever. So... Though I have my master's and people might kind of make fun of me because I stay at home and I don't do anything with it, let me tell you what, girlfriend, I am doing something with it. I'm working my business. I'm building my business. I'm going to be at the six figures in six or seven months, and that's that. I'm just telling you that's what I'm going to be. That's my goal I've set for myself, and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so if anybody has any questions, I can wait just a few seconds. It's kind of... It's not, um, I don't get the questions as quickly as you type them in here, but if anybody has any questions, feel free to let me know after we're done. <laughs> after we're done with the live feed, there's always more time for questions. So you guys let me know if you have any questions at all. Um, that's about it. Thanks for um, watching and thanks for being interested in wine and wash. <laughs> thanks a bunch, guys.